Hello, my name is Gumaro and today I am going to teach you how to choose the right disc for the standard 4.5 inch angle grinder. There are many discs to choose from. To keep it simple, I will cover five most commonly used on our manufacturing floor. These are the grinding disc, cutting disc, flapper disc, wire disc, and stripping or polishing disc. Each disc is used for different tasks to achieve different finishes. Not choosing the right disc could be a major safety hazard and it will also make the task longer and more difficult. No one disc does it all and not all discs do all things. So let's review which disc is used to ensure you are working safely and efficiently. We'll start with safety. Anytime you use an angle grinder, you need to wear PPE. We require a hard hat, safety glasses, hearing protection, face shield, FR rated sleeves or jacket, FR gloves, and safety shoes to protect against sparks, debris, and broken discs. There are a few things to check before plugging in your grinder. The first is that you have the right guard. Different discs require different guards, so refer to the user manual if you're not sure which one is right. After that, check and make sure that the side handle is secure so you can use the grinder with two hands. Next, check the power cord for frays, cuts, and check for damage around the housing. Now let's talk about how to use the disc safely. The first step is to check your grinder specifications. On every angle grinder, there is a label that describes the RPM, the disc size, and the guard the grinder is rated for. Follow these specifications. Never use larger discs than the grinder is made for and never use this with a lower maximum RPM rating than the RPM rating for the grinder. Doing so could cause the disc to break, shatter, or disintegrate. Check the year located in the middle of the disc. It is recommended that you do not use the disc after this date. Also, make sure the disc is dry. Spinning a wet disc on an angle grinder will throw off its balance and cause it to spin unevenly and limit the control you have of the machine. Running a wet wheel raises the chance of it breaking. When you are using the grinder, make sure to position the tool and your body so that the sparks shoot away from you. Also, make sure to place your body on the side of the tool and not behind or in the line of it in case the disc binds and jolts. Now, let's go ahead and learn about the disc types. You'll need to know a little about the types when choosing a grinder disc. Type 1, Type 27, Type 28, Type 29, Type 41, and Type 42 are codes manufacturers use to categorize the ideal angle of the base of the shape of the disc. You can find the type written on the label, usually printed at the top. At AEC, we use Type 1 and Type 27 discs. Let's look at Type 1 first. Type 1 refers to the disc with a flat surface and a flat center. These discs are designed to be used at a 90 degree angle, so only the edge is in contact with the material. Examples of type one discs are cutting discs and bench grinder wheels. Importantly, you'll need a type one guard when using a type one disc. The type one guard provides protection on the front and back of the disc, so the operator will not be exposed no matter the position they are cutting in. Now let's look at Type 27 discs. These are flat discs with a depressed center. They are the primary tool of the angle grinder because they have the most versatility for grinding at angles. Unlike the Type 1 discs, Type 27 discs are not used on their edge. Instead, the face of the disc is used. The depressed center gives the disc more rigidity and reduces interference from the mounting hardware. The standard guard that comes with your grinder is rated for the Type 27 disc. Keep in mind, most grinders, including the ones we use, do not come with a Type 1 guard. You'll need to request one from the cage before using a Type 1 disc like the cutting disc. Now that we've covered the disc types, let's talk about the disc. We'll start with the cutting disc. Because they are Type 1 discs, cutting discs are used at a 90 degree angle. These discs are made from one millimeter hardened sandpaper, so not using them at a 90 degree angle will cause the disc to break. However, when used correctly, you'll be able to cut through most metals up to a quarter inch thick. To start cutting, secure your workpiece 
and position the disc perpendicular to the material. Turn the grinder on and apply minimal force, letting the disc do the work. The edge is the only part of the disc that should make contact. When making cuts with the cutting disc, do not rest in one place or stay in the same position. Doing this minimizes the chances of the disc binding or getting caught. It also allows heat to disperse evenly throughout the material. The flapper disc. The flapper disc is made up of sandpaper patches or pads stacked on top of each other, providing a flexible and continuous sanding surface. Unlike cutting discs, flapper discs are meant to be used on the surface, not on the edge. Flapper discs come in many different abrasive levels, ranging from coarse to fine. The amount of abrasiveness is called grit. The normal grit range in a flapper disc is 24 to 120. At AEC, we typically use 60 grit discs, which are ideal for sanding most wells, rough surfaces, sharp edges, and mill scale. Flapper discs can be reused multiple times, but be careful not to use a disc that appears discolored or has lost most of its grit. Worn out flapper discs can burn from overuse. The grinder disc. The standard grinding disc is most frequently used by welders. These discs are made to be used on the face at the angle made of the abrasive compound. They are used for reshaping metal, removing rust, and deburring. A grinding disc can also be used for evening out surfaces. It is more robust than a flapper disc, but it will leave a rougher finish. You can use these discs to prepare an area for cutting by thinning out the surrounding weld. For example, when removing lifting eyes from an autoclave, start with the grinding disc to remove most of the weld around the eye. Once it's removed, it will be much easier to remove the eye with the cutting disc. This will also make your cut more precise, limiting the incidental damage to the cut materials. We stock two thicknesses of grinding discs. Both are type 27, which means they have the press centers. One is a quarter inch thick for general purpose use, and the other is 3 16 inch thick for more precise work, like beveling welds. The wire wheel. The wire wheel is your best choice for removing surface material. It is used for cleaning spatter, removing paint and rust, deburring, edge blending, polishing, surface finishing, and light weld polishing. When choosing a wire wheel, you'll be able to get different shaped disc and wire configurations. The most popular and versatile type of wire wheel is the standard disc. As for the wire configurations, there are two standard options, twist knot style or crimped. The twist knot style is the most rigid and the best for heavy duty use. We use it to clean wells and slag, polish surfaces, and clean the threads on pipe. Crimped wire discs are more flexible and provide a cleaner finish. They are best used for light removal on irregular surfaces. Keep in mind the effectiveness of the wire wheel depends on the tips being in contact with the surface. For that reason, do not apply too much pressure. This bends the wires and causes them to deteriorate faster. Though even on newer discs, wires can sometimes come loose and fly outwards. To protect yourself, wear safety glasses a face shield and thick clothing that cannot be easily punctured. The polishing pan. The stripping disc, sometimes called a polishing disc, is perfect for light surface removal where finish is important. It can be used to remove surface rust, residue, corrosion, light well spatter, dirt mill scale, paint, and epoxy. You can also use it to prepare surfaces prior to welding or coating and to clean surfaces after welding. The stripping disc is meant for wood, steel, and concrete surfaces and is designed to be used flat on its face. Do not use this disc on its side or the edge of the materials. Doing so will damage the disc and cause it to wear quickly. 
And that's the conclusion of the main grinding disc we use here at AEC. With so many options, it's important you think about the disc you are using and only use it in the way it was designed by the manufacturer. Using a disc incorrectly will not only damage or ruin your material, but it creates a serious safety hazard. Now that you are informed on their differences, take time to think about which disc is right for your job. I'm Gumaro, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.